Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name is Harutun Ariam, and today on my channel we're going to be learning how to use a protractor. Now, as you remember in my previous videos, uh, especially the past two or three ones, I think, uh, we talked about how uh, to find angles, and we talked a lot more about angles and how to find the certain degrees. Now, you might, in my previous, one of my previous videos, the finding the missing angle, I used one of these things, a protractor. Now, some of you told me that you wanted to know how to use a protractor, so this video is going to be about that. But before we do that, please take a moment, subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell on the right to get daily notifications on all my videos. And without further ado, let's get started. So a protractor can be defined as a mathematical instrument that is used to find the precise degree for an angle. Otherwise, let me take a look here. Oops, almost locked on my board. We want to find this number right here and that is um, sought in degrees not Fahrenheit or Celsius this is the different thing it's a synonym synonym <laughs> and uh, that's how you find it now a protractor looks like this okay here in the middle you have your 90 degree mark and usually protractors come with a little tiny hole right here so you can mark it up right where that little dot is where the point is you put this on the point make sure it's upright and level and you just check now let's do it on this one but before we do that let's learn the numbers real quick okay so here we have our 90 degree mark right here right and as we go to the right of the protractor the numbers get smaller so we start out with or excuse me as we go to the right the numbers get smaller yeah and um it depends on how you do it uh you can flip it and whatnot but to the right when it's an acute angle when it's like when it's like this, when the angle is like this, the number is smaller than 90. When it's an obtuse angle, the number is bigger than 90. So if we know, so here we have an acute angle, right? So it's gonna be less than 90. So we find, so what we would do theoretically is put this up, make sure the whole lines up and it's at a 75 degree angle. That's just for the little example I put up on the board. Now, if it was a bigger angle, like an obtuse angle, you would line up the mark to one of these little benchmarks here and see what number it was. And you would find your angle, uh, your excuse me, your uh, degree, angle in degrees like that. Um, a protractor is very useful. You use it in math a lot. And a protractor is a good investment if you're getting into geometry. And usually the teacher might hand you one out. I went ahead and bought one for my studies. And uh, it's good. You can even make your own one. Uh, I should do a video on that. I don't know. Leave a like if you want me to do a video on how to make a protractor. So, uh, this has been a video of me showing y'all how to use the mathematical instrument, also known as a protractor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, stay tuned for more videos from me. Until next time, I'm Harutun Haryan. Keep on learning, kids.